Hey guys, it's me again. Um, what I'm going to be doing here today is an attempt to repair the boot sector on this Dell Dimension 2400 because I notice when I boot in the windows it actually goes into an infinite boot loop. So I got a Windows XP disk inserted. Into so what I'm going to be doing is attempting to do the Windows XP boot sector repair using the recovery console. So what we're going to do is go ahead and press R. It's going to be like a command prompt pretty much. Because I got a un mountable boot volume BSOD that popped up on this computer. I tried I noticed it, it'll do that with um, safe mode safe mode with networking the last known configuration even if I start Windows normally but uh, I tried I went to an option where you can disable the automatic restart on system failure and I look well, you know and behold, a BSOD had popped up showing what was the cause of why it kept going into an infinite reboot loop there, but it should be booting into the recovery console. I'm going to go ahead and put you guys down for a moment. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, it's about to start it up. And so I was about to put you guys down for a minute. So we'll go ahead and enter our keyboard layout. And this may take a little while, so I'll go ahead and put you guys down for a minute. Alright, since we're in recovery console and everything's booted all up, what I'm going to be doing is typing check disk slash p and put in this command. And but I got it pulled up right here on my, on my, on my um, computer. Let's see. I probably didn't type it in right. So I did. So it should be loading up something in a minute. So I didn't know that you it didn't have you didn't need the the I because it didn't recognize that command. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you down for a moment and, and let you know if there's any other progress. Okay, we're going to talk about another Sega Genesis game that became the official mascot of Sega to replace Alex Kidd, even though Alex Kidd was supposed to be the original mascot of Sega. So, here is Sonic the Hedgehog, which came out in 1991. And also, got my six button controller hooked up. Because I was using the three button earlier when I was trying to demonstrate Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop, fire it up. Alright, I'm going to talk about a fighting game that I actually played a long time ago as a kid and on a Sega Genesis and this game actually taught me how to play video games on my own. I played this game when I was like three or four years old. 
back when we when my when they, we had a Sega Genesis of my grandparents. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up. I even used a six button controller one time for Primal Rage a few probably a few times because my sister had got one for her Genesis when she had one. And there goes the title screen. I gotta make some adjustments so I can use the... Let's, without further ado, let's begin the game.